and welcome friends it's your main man z here from our reviews will kill you and i'm here to talk to you about the big netflix announcement one movie for every single week for the rest of eternity well at least 2021 every single week netflix is going to release a brand new movie and whatever you want they got it you want dwayne the rock johnson jumping from explosions they got it you want scary movies they got it you want first-time directors who've never directed anything like Halle Berry? You got it. You want crazy foreign films? You got it. You want animated films? You got it. You want them to dress up celebrities and make them look real ugly so they can win awards? You got it. You're going to get whatever you want. You get everything you want. Everything. But <laughs> I'm here to share an article with you folks just to give you an idea of what exactly they're announcing. I, I found it to be, you know, this was interesting. There's a crazy trailer that shows, I think it's, 71 movies yeah or 70 movies in total and you know hey look we can't go see movies anywhere else and who knows hbo max is under some lawsuits and things like that so the streaming giant revealed on tuesday they gave a, a release list i mean they got everybody they got whoever you want to see you want to see leonardo dicaprio all fucked up be my guest you're going to see him you want to see sandra bullock you want to see dwayne the rock johnson you want to see Gal Gadot, Idris Elba, Meryl Streep, Jennifer Lawrence? You got it. Whatever you want, you get, you got it. I don't know if any of these movies are going to be good based on what we've seen in the past. I'm not so sure about that. You know, you want to see Peter Dinklage with Rosamund Punk? Ro Rosamund, Rosamund Pike, not Rosamund Punk. She was a punk in uh, Gone Girl, but she's not, you know, she's not a punk in this. Dark comedy? Yeah, sure. By the way, I'm, I'm looking at Boston.com for some reason because they had the best article about this. There's a whole bunch of them. I mean, you want to see fat superheroes? You got it. You're going to get it. Yeah, I know you wanted it, so you're going to get it. <laughs> I don't know where they get all this money from. Um, there's Leonardo DiCaprio and Jennifer Lawrence in this in the movie called Don't Look Up, where they are absolutely dressed dressed to win, dressed for success. I think they play astronomers. Yes, they play astronomers. Uh, I think you've got oh, that's right. Adam McKay's gonna direct a movie. You're gonna see Kate Blanchett. You're gonna see oodles of stars. Timothy Chalamet, the kid who's gonna star in Dune. I mean, you're going to see all of it. Whatever you want, you're going to see it. All of it. Antoine Fuqua, the director of Training Day, Equalizer, he's got a movie. I mean, yeah, I'm a Zack Snyder shill, so I'm excited maybe for Army of the Dead. I don't know, but there's just so many movies, I don't even know what's going on here. There's a bunch of horror movies. There's a bunch of thriller movies. I thought there was already a movie called Munich, but maybe they remade Munich. I don't know. They're making all sorts of stuff. If you really wanted to see Kissing Booth 3, you got that too. Princess Switch 3, you got that too. I mean, it's just winning everywhere all day for us, the fans. We're going to win. Uh, I'm pretty sure there was already a movie called Monster. Probably 10 different movies called Monster. I don't know. You can see the list. They're all over here. The Power of the Dog untitled Graham King film <laughs> there's a there's even a western yes there's even a western I mean if you want to see I know there's one in here oh there's whole family movies too that was the one uh that yes a boy named Chris called Christmas yes I'm ready to see that wish dragon I am actually excited to see uh troll hunters rise of the titans I would like to see that rise of the teenage mutant ninja turtles sounds promising I mean, look, they even got musicals. If you want to see um, Lin-Manuel, Emmanuel, whatever his name, the guy from Hamilton, if you want to see him do sing and dance, you love singing and dancing, you love musicals, he's got a tick, tick, boom for you. So it looks like they're going all out. They're taking full advantage of theaters being closed. And um, if you get a chance, I guess what, you know, The Rock and... Ryan Reynolds and Gal Gadot are going to have a movie called Red Notice, some big budget heist movie, and, you know, Rock, he's jumping from explosions and things. Whatever, man. Y you get the idea. Netflix is, uh, quote-unquote, pulling out all the stops. I feel pretty good about I mean, whatever, man. You know, if, if they make more movies that are closer to Extraction than they are closer to the Cloverfield Paradox, I'm all about it. 
I'll take a couple more movies from Netflix. I can't promise that they'll be good, but I can promise you that we will do several reviews of these. I have heard that Scott is a giant fan of musicals, and he will review the guy from Hamilton, his movie, Tick, Tick, Boom. He's so excited, he couldn't even wait to tell me how excited he was about this. But, you know, we thought we'd give you some good news for once and, and give you a little bit of preview of what's going on with Netflix and, and a lot of the things that they're going to drop in the upcoming time. But from all of us here at Our Reviews Will Kill You, be sure to, if you like us, give us a like. If you want to subscribe, we'd love to have that too. Be sure to ch- check out our long-form podcast, which we release every Sunday night. You can catch that on all the places you can get anything like iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, all those great places. But anyway, from all of us here at Our Reviews Will Kill You, to all of y'all at home, we love y'all, and on to the next one. (laughs) 